In the early hours of January 23, 1958, Marcos Perez Jimenez decided to abandon the Miraflores Palace and move to La Carlotto Airport, located in the city of Caracas, despite having the support of important sectors of the Venezuelan armed forces. His intent was to leave the country on a flight to the Dominican Republic. Upon hearing the news of Perez's overthrow, Venezuelans took to the streets, looting the houses of regime supporters, attacking the headquarters of the national security and lynching officials. The headquarters of the government newspaper El Heraldo was also destroyed in the chaos of the protests. Within a few hours the Miraflores Palace became the meeting place of the rebels and other political leaders, who proceeded to appoint a provisional government junta, that replaced the ousted regime. The board constituted Admiral Wolfgang Larazable, commanding general of the navy, as president. Later on January 23, Venezuelans celebrated the fall of Jimenez, and also protested the governing board members who were forced to resign and were later replaced by businessman Eugenio Mendoza and Blas Lamberti on January 24. To facilitate the work of their governing board and the restoration of democracy in Venezuela, a caretaker cabinet was appointed, composed of lawyers, businessmen and executives and Colonel Jesus Maria Castro Leon of the Ministry of Defense. Subsequently, the governing board called elections for December 1958 and released political prisoners across the country, expanding the Patriotic Council with representatives of independent sectors, appointing a journalist named Fabricio Gidu as chairman. 